Hey guys, my name is Parth and I'm the creator of Parth in Germany. This is the second episode of a day in life of a student in Germany where we show you different kind of experiences and daily lives of students studying in different German universities. In this video we have Vishal with us and we are going to see what he does in a day, what he cooks, what he eats and what kind of tips he has for us. Hey guys, my name is Vishal Joshi and I study Masters in Space Engineering at the University of Bremen. I work as a student assistant in a research institute known as ZAM and today I will take you through a typical day of my life. So let's get started. Good morning guys and welcome to my apartment. Today I will be showing you my entire day, what I do, how I plan my day, how I work from home these days. I stay in a studio apartment which means I don't share my place with anyone. For students who would be coming to Germany, I highly recommend you to get in touch with the student and work of a university. When you get an apartment from student and work, you get it at a really cheap price compared to the normal rates and you will be having a high speed internet. So you will be having a cheaper apartment with a high speed internet. This is where I live. I have a beautiful garden in the backyard. This is my bicycle and my washing machine. This side, I have my bed, two sofa chairs, my work table, the PC which I built by myself, my printer, and here is the la my laptop. And I really love to have my family photo near to my work desk. This side, I have one cupboard which I mainly use for storing some documents or some electric things. This cupboard I use for storing my clothes. I love to have one whiteboard in my room. I generally write my ideas on the whiteboard or I'm doing some work. I will write here. The kitchen and bathroom area. The bathroom is at the top. And here is my kitchen. This is my fridge. That's my coffee machine. And this is the rack I mainly use to store some utensils or vegetables. This is the kitchen, that's the hot plate stuff, on the bottom is the oven, here my rack of spices, this is my sink, I mainly wash here and keep my utensils to dry over here and now we will have some breakfast. For breakfast I generally have muesli uh, with some fresh fruit, so this is banana and strawberries already cut. And I'll put them in my bowl. That's the milk in here. It's 3.5% fat as you can read. And I will be having my breakfast for the day. We all are staying at home. I plan my entire day around my work table. And I usually have my breakfast and my work together. It's finally the lunch time and I will be showing you what I will be cooking. Today I will be cooking uh, mushroom rice. Because yesterday I went to Lidl and I was able to find some good mushroom which uh, was also on sale. Yes, you have sometimes sale on vegetable as well. It's mostly nearly the weekend. Also, I would like to mention that uh, I do cook many varieties like rajma rice, rajma with roti and stuff like that. You get uh, the boiled rajma in tin you get in Germany. These are the beans which you get in Germany which I pair with my sabji the vegetable and I eat with either rice or with either roti. I have everything ready to make. I have cut the garlic, I have cut the onion. I have my mushrooms ready with me, finely chopped. I have green onions finely chopped. So right now I'm waiting for the oil to get it hot. So for cooking, I generally use the Zonenblumen oil, uh, which you can see right here. Uh, you call it as sunflower seed oil uh, in English. You can find one liter, one liter of oil for around 1.09 euros or maybe sometimes 1 euro depending upon the scheme which you are having yes but the rate is around like 1 euro what I have here with me is called as Buta Gamusa 
so this is like a mixture of uh, 300 grams with different vegetables as you can see in the figure you have carrots you have green peas and you have some corn in it you have some cauliflower in it and also I like to turn on the exhaust I will be eating for my lunch would be my dinner I generally do cook more to save my time usually I cook at night I cook for the dinner I cook for my breakfast and I cook for my lunch box which I eat as lunch uh, when I'm at work or when I'm at the university so let's taste Khas. as you see in the photo you have Aldi to the left and Holab in the right this supermarkets are 500 meters away from my home and I generally shop my groceries from Aldi. Holab is a Gatranga Markt, meaning mainly for alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages shopping. The best part of Holab is to have discount and payback offers on various kind of beverages regularly. This is the nearest bus station to my home and I have two connections from this station. 22 number and 29 number. 22 will directly take me to the university. On top you have the Bremen transport line map. I live somewhere left to this corner. And the sun is really shining good today and we have a good weather. Now I will be going to the University of Bremen and show you guys my university. Welcome to my university. And this is University of Bremen. This is the MZH building. We have sitting over here and you have seven floors. This is GW2 and the tall building is where I currently am employed so let's take a round of University Bremen so to the left side we have the student and work apartment and you have the mensa over here yeah, it's a nice view same view the opposite side and to the other side you have the SUB library start on university bibliothek so this is the library this is the house where we shot the Navratri festival and also Bharat did came to here And to this side, this is the GW2 canteen. It's weird to see everything empty, at least for me. The entrance of GW2. And to this side, I'll show you my workplace, how it looks, how beautiful it looks in here. So now let's go to ZAM. So guys this is ZAM building, center of applied space technology and microgravity where I currently work as student assistant. All the microgravity experiments are conducted here and this is the arm fault room area of University Bremen where you will find research centers. beautiful river near to my place
So I'll talk about hobbies in Germany. Many people in here have hobbies such as gardening, reading, writing, cooking, playing some sports, etc. They always look forward to making their hobby. They invest their time, money and effort into their hobby and it's really important to have one because it helps you to connect to more number of people and grow your network. Me personally, my hobby is photography and I do it professionally. I like to photograph the landscape, portrait photography and the night sky and today I'll photograph the moon. So let's get going. It's finally outside dark enough to shoot the moon and today we will be shooting the last supermoon for the year 2020. I will be using my Canon uh, camera with Canon 55-250 ISSTM lens, a manual trigger and my tripod. successful in taking multiple images of the moon the next step what i will be doing is copying the photos from camera memory card to my laptop and then i will stack all those photos which i have clicked and create a single image out of those multiple photos this process is known as photo stacking and this will give me one high quality single image which looks like this so guys i will be ending this wonderful video by sharing my experience of studying and staying in germany for the past two years and by giving some tips to the new students who would be coming to germany so starting with my experience i received a great amount of exposure in my masters and the professor of my course were the scientists of the german space agency which is known as dlr and we used to literally study in dlr for my master's project i did testing of solid rocket motor engine which is basically the engine of spacecraft each part-time job i did gave me new set of skills uh, i did two part-time jobs uh, one in a robotic company and the one which i'm currently doing in a research center so i learned new set of skills so now coming to tips the first one is really pretty obvious is to learn the german language by learning the language you start to live and not just to survive the second one would be to learn cooking uh, as we Indians, we are really bound to our taste. Uh, the third one would be to spend your money wisely. You would be really surprised how fast the money would be going from your blocked account in the first year itself. The last and the most important one I would like to share is there are enough part-time jobs available in your own field. Spend your time, research enough and try getting those jobs. I wish you guys good luck and I'm looking forward to connect with you guys. Goodbye. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to remind you that for many of these students, it is their first time that they're being on the camera and they're doing this completely on their own. So I hope you encourage them by leaving a like, by commenting on this video, or by sharing it with some of your friends who haven't watched this video already. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do that because then you'll be quickly notified as soon as a new episode in the series comes up. If you want to get featured in a series, reach us at parth at parthingermany.com and we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next one.